All right, everybody. Um, thanks for joining me and Steve here today, Steve the cat. Um, we're going to start off our practice standing. So I want you to just bring some awareness down into your feet. So go ahead, lift up through your toes, move them around a little bit, maybe shift your body weight forward and back. Bringing some awareness into your breathing. And then just begin to find a little stillness here in your feet. And then take a few moments to roll through your shoulders. Taking them up, moving them around. It can be forward, it can be back. Just beginning to loosen up the upper part of our body. And then slowly just relax your shoulders down, relax your arms down, soften the knees here just a little bit. And then we're gonna begin with just a few um, breaths in and out here, using our arms here. So let's take an inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, bring your hands through your heart center. Release your arms down by the sides and take it again. Inhale up. Exhale, hands through your heart center. Release them down to the sides. And once again, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands through your heart center. Release them down to the sides. And just pause here for a moment. Once again, take your shoulders up. Take them back. Bring them down your spine. And we're going to work our way into a few rounds of our sun salutations. So feet together if that works for you at the top of your mat. When you're ready here, let's take an inhale, reach your arms up, looking up. Exhale, take a forward fold, dive your body down. Ground through your back. Inhale, front lift, flat back. Exhale into your plank. Take your body all the way down or hover. Inhale into your cobra or upward dog. Exhale, find your downward dog. Take your body up and back. Pause here for a moment, spreading through your fingers, relaxing through the neck and the head. Pausing here for another inhale and an exhale. When you're ready for that next inhale in, look forward, step walk, or even jump your feet right up in between your thumbs, right into that front lift flat back. Exhale, round through your spine here. And as you inhale, sweep your arms nice and wide all the way up your thumb. Exhale, release your arms down, look forward. We're gonna take that again. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, take that forward fold, dive it down. Round through your back. Inhale, front lift, flat back, pull your belly in. Exhale into your plank. Same exhale if you can, all the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, find your downward dog. Pause here for a breath in and a breath out. When you're ready for that next inhale in, look forward, step walk or jump your feet right to the front of the mat, right into that front lift, flat back. Exhale, round through your spine. As you inhale, stand nice and tall, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, release your arms down. Go ahead and bring your gaze forward. Now pause here for a moment, take your shoulders up, back and bring them down your spine. We're gonna take three rounds of our sequence B, Sun Citation B. So we begin with the chair pose. So inhale into a little squat. Exhale, take a forward fold. Round through your back. Inhale, front lift, flat back. Exhale, find your plank. Same exhale if you can, all the way down or hover, knees can be up or down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, find your downward dog. As you inhale, right foot steps up, warrior one. Rise up. Exhale, hands touch the earth. Right foot steps back, plank. All the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, find your downward dog. Inhale, left foot steps up, warrior one. Rise it up, exhale, hands touch the earth. Left foot steps back, plank, same exhale if you can, all the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, find your downward dog or maybe a child's pose. Downward dog or child's pose, just for a breath. And your exhale. If you're in your child's pose, slowly find your downward dog. From your downward dog on your next inhale in, look forward, step walk or jump your feet to the front of the mat, right into that front lift flat back. Exhale, round through your spine. Inhale, stand into a chair. Good, rise up. Release your arms down. We take it again. Inhale, find your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, front lift. Exhale, plank. Same exhale if you can, all the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, find your downward dog. 
Inhale, right foot steps up, warrior one. Exhale, find your plank. All the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, find your downward dog. Inhale, left foot steps up, warrior one. Exhale, find your plank. Take a downer hover. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, find your downward dog or maybe a child's pose. Take it a moment or so just to be right here. Downward dog or your child's pose. I want you just to breathe. Relax your shoulders down if you're in child's pose. If you're in downward dog, draw your shoulders down away from your ears. If you're in child's pose, slowly find your downward dog. When you're ready for that next inhale in, look forward, step walk or jump your feet to the front of your mat, right into that front lift. Exhale, round through your spine. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms forward and up. Exhale, stand tall, release your arms down. And we take this one more time, everybody. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, front lift. Exhale, plank. All the way down and hover. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot steps up, warrior one, bring it up. Exhale, find your plank. All the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot steps up, warrior one. Exhale, find your plank. All the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, down dog or child's pose for a couple breaths. Feet about hip width or sole part. Arms are about shoulder width or sole part. Relax your neck and head. Another inhale and exhale will keep you right here. On your next inhale, look forward, step walk or jump your feet to the front of your mat. Right into that front lift. Exhale, round through your spine. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms forward and up. Exhale, rise up, release your arms down. Good, take a few moments to roll through your shoulders. And then we're gonna take our stance wide on our mat, a wide stance on our mat. So we're gonna work here a little bit with our garland pose, a very deep squat. So if your body does not want you to go down that low, then just come into a smaller bit, smaller bit of a squat. So we're just gonna see how it feels just to reach your arms up, as you inhale, as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Slowly begin to bend the knees and bring yourself down into this deep squat. So elbows to the inside of the knees. Your heels might touch the ground. They might not touch the ground. If you have a blanket or something you wanna put underneath your heels, you can do that. Draw your shoulders down, lift the heart, pull your belly in tight. And all we're gonna do for a few breaths is just stand up and come right back down to this position. So when you're ready for an inhale, you're gonna stand up nice and tall. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, find that squat coming down to wherever it works for your body. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, take a seat. Inhale, rise up again. Exhale, take that seat. I want you to pause your keep breathing. Lift up through your heart. Pausing here for a moment, we're gonna add on. Hands are gonna come down to the ground. Right toes are gonna go forward. Left foot's gonna step back into a lunge. From this lunge, back knee can be up or down. Sweep your arms up to the sky. Good, pause here for a moment as you breathe. Extend through those arms, lift up through the heart, pull the belly in nice and tight. And now when you're ready, your hands come on down to the earth. Good, right arm's gonna reach forward, twist up into a twisted lunge, right arm to the sky. Right arm reach behind you, down towards the earth. Left arm reach it to the sky. Pausing here, twisted lunge, other direction. Left arm reach behind you, bring it down to the earth. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky again. And as you exhale, hands come on down to the ground. We're gonna straighten that right leg without locking our knee. Just shift our hips back, relax the neck and the head. And now bend that right knee. And then we straighten that right leg again. We shift it back. And then we bend that right knee. 
And one more time, we straighten that right leg, shift our hips back, relax the neck and the head. Now we're gonna move our arms and shift our body. So right hand goes by the left hand. Steve, you gotta move out of the way. Right hand goes by the left hand into this wide legged forward fold. Right hand stays on the ground, left arm just reach it to the sky. Wide legged twist. It's okay if you bend the knees, it's okay if you have to have a book underneath that right hand. Left hand comes down to the ground. Right arm reaches to the sky. Be here as you breathe, pull your belly in nice and tight. Now right hand comes down to the ground. We're gonna do a little bit of a side lunge. You're gonna bend your right knee a lot. Walk your hands over towards it. Just pause there for a moment. Now walk your hands over to the left. Bend that left knee a lot. Pause there for a moment. And then one more time. Walk your hands over towards that right leg. Pause right here. Now you can choose to stay right here. You can come on down a little bit more. Yep, come over the way. Yeah, you. And maybe you bring your hands back to your heart. So you're gonna pause right here, wherever you are. A little bit of a side view if you need to see it. Might be that left leg out to the side. And you might even have to sit down. So just another breath or so, just to pause right here, wherever you are. And then we're gonna slowly work our way back into that lunge. So you're just gonna turn towards that right leg, hands touch the earth, pivot up on the balls of your left foot. Sweep your arms up to the sky, reach it up. Hands come on down to the earth. Right foot steps back into your plank. All the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra upward dog. Exhale, find your downward dog. As you inhale, look forward, step walk or jump your feet up in between your thumbs. Find that front lift, flat back. Exhale, round through your spine. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up, stand tall. Exhale, hands through your heart center. Good. We're gonna walk those feet out wide again. We're gonna take that same thing on the second side. So toes out. Your heels might be on the mat, but you decide what feels good for your body. So we're gonna slowly just bend our knees and come on down. Good, so I want you to pause right here as you breathe. Great stretch for the inner thighs. Just pausing here, drawing your shoulders down, lifting up through your heart. Good, good. All right, we're gonna take three times where we rise up on an inhale. So inhale, standing tall. Exhale, hands back through your heart center and squat on down. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, bring it down. One more time, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, go ahead and bring it down. Good. So again, pause in here just for a breath. Never holding your breath, always letting it flow. All right, hands are gonna come on down to the ground. You're gonna bring that left foot forward, toes forward, right leg behind you in that lunge, okay? Right knee can be up or down. Sweep your arms forward and up. So just pause right here for a moment as you breathe. Draw your shoulders down. And now hands come on down to the earth. And we're gonna take a couple twists here. Left arm, reach it forward, reach it up, take a twisted lunge, looking up to that left thumb, if that feels okay. Left arm, reach to the back of the room, down to the ground. Right arm, reach it forward, open it up, other direction. Pause here as you breathe. Right hand comes down to the ground. Let's sweep our arms up, just rise up for a moment. Slowly bring our hands back down to the earth. And now we're gonna straighten that left leg one time right here. We'll take a total of three this first time to see how it feels, relax the neck and the head. Now bend that left knee, using your hands to support you here. Straighten that left leg, shift your hips back, relax the neck and the head. Bend that left knee. And one more time, you're gonna straighten that left leg, shift your hips back, relax your neck and head. And now here we're gonna slowly find that wide-legged stance. Left hand goes by the right. Walk your hands to the middle of your mat. Toes are facing the same direction as your arms are. Left hand stays on the ground. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Slowly right hand comes down to the ground. Left arm reaches up to the sky. So if you need to, again, bend the knees or place something underneath your hand on the earth, that's fine. 
Left hand comes down to the ground. So we're gonna take those three side lunges. Bend to the left knee first, walk your hands towards that left leg so your right leg straightens. Now walk your hands over to the right leg. Right knee bends, left leg straightens. And then one more time, walk over to that left side. So you can stay right here. You can come on down a little bit lower. Hands can stay on the ground. Hands might go to the heart. Get a little side view. Maybe right leg out to the side, flexing through your heel. Your butt might be off the ground or you might have already sat down. Wherever you're at is just fine. Just be right here and just breathe. Another moment to be right here. Now we're gonna slowly work our way back into that lunge. So hands come on down to the ground, turn towards that left leg, pivot up on the balls of your right foot. Find your balance here as you inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, hands come on down to the ground. Left foot steps back into your plank, all the way down and hover. Inhale, cobra upward dog. Exhale, slowly find your downward dog. Pausing here in this dog just for a moment. Spread through your fingers, relax the neck and the head. Draw your shoulders down. One more inhale and exhale will keep you right here. When you're ready for that next inhale in, look forward, step walk, or maybe even jump your feet to the front of your mat. Find that front lift flat back. Exhale, round through your spine. Release here by bending the knees, slowly using your hands to bring yourself on down to the ground. Good, okay. So right from here, we're gonna take one boat pose, and then we're gonna roll on down to the ground. So I want you to sit up nice and tall, hands behind the back of your legs. And I want you to tip your spine back. I want you to look forward also. Now you can choose to stay right here. You can reach your arms. You can lift your feet, you can straighten your legs, you can reach your arms up, but I want you to keep the integrity of a tall spine. If you begin to sink, then you're losing it. You need to back up a little bit. So a tall spine tipping back. Just another moment to be here. Drop your shoulders down, relax your chin towards your throat, pull your belly in nice and tight. Be here for a moment as you breathe. And then when you're ready, very, very gently, if the feet are lifted, lower them down, slide your legs on out. Gently roll through the belly, now round through the spine, roll it all the way down. Take your time, rolling all the way down. Once you come down, take a full body stretch. And then just release. We're gonna take our right knee, move your body a little bit. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Hug your right knee in. Beginning to slow down your breathing. Relaxing through your shoulders. We're gently just gonna switch sides. So take that right leg out long. Take that left knee in. Relax the neck and the head. Again, relax through your shoulders. Let's find that full body stretch again. So extend the legs, extend the arms. Reach to the fingers, reach to the toes, extend the rib cage away from your hips. Gently relax your body down. Bend the knees here. I want you to bring your arms up to the side so your arms make a T. With our knees bent, just drop the knees to the left side of the room. Right ear is gonna go down towards the ground. Just a little torso twist here. and then slowly bring the neck and the head center, bring the leg center. We're just gonna change sides. So knees to the right side, allow that left ear to come on down towards the ground, relax the shoulders. Just bring some awareness again into how your body's feeling right now. And then when you're ready, slowly, we're gonna roll the neck and the head center. We'll bring those legs center. Knees back in towards the chest one more time, just hug them in. If it feels all right, tuck your chin towards your throat, roll your forehead up. Go ahead, release it down. Gently set your feet on the ground. Right hand will touch the heart, left hand's gonna go onto the belly. Relax your elbows down, go ahead and close your eyes. And just for a few moments, all I want you to do is just be right here and breathe. 
Inhaling in, noticing that air as it comes into the body. Where is that breath reaching? And as you exhale, is there anything you can let go with that exhale? Any negative thought, any tension, anything that does not serve you? Can you let it go with that exhale? If so, give yourself permission to do so. Enjoying that natural flow of breath of that inhale going deep in to the body from the top, the chest, the lungs down into the belly. And then coming right back up again from the belly, to the ribs, the lungs and the chest, throat, the mouth of the nose. And then gently from here, you can extend one leg at a time. Release one arm at a time, down by your sides, palms up. Relaxing your chin towards your throat. And this is the last pose of our practice, this resting, this Shavasana. And you can choose to stay in this position as long as you like. I'll give you a few moments to be here. I'm going to ask you to bring awareness into your fingers and your toes. Just move them around a little bit. Gently begin to bend the knees, set your feet on the ground. <clears throat> bring your arms in close to your body and then slowly roll over to one side. And then from there, being gentle with your body, use your hands to help push yourself up into just a comfortable seated position. Relaxing the shoulders down, eyes open or closed. If eyes are open, just bring your gaze down towards the earth, lifting up through your heart, bringing your hands to your heart just for a moment, hands touching, thumbs right at your sternum. And before we bring our practice to a close, I'm going to ask you just to bring to mind one thing right now that you're grateful for. Bring one thing to mind right now that you're grateful for. I'm going to end our practice today by saying thank you and namaste.